I will straight away come to the paragraph before the launch. Huh? Okay. Yes, sir. As the director of AIT, I wish to present the report on AIT's progress over the last one year or so. Last one year has been the most stressful year for many students, alumni, employees and their families. The impact of the second wave of COVID-19 was very severe. Many of them suffered substantially. Some of the students and employees lost their near and dear ones. We even lost three of our alumni at a very young age. Many employees also suffered due to the infection. We offer our heartfelt condolences for those who had to bear these losses. AIT is now back and raring to go. Students have started arriving in hostels batch-wise. The most of them are still engaged in online uh, semester exams of the university. Here is about the history of AIT. Army Institute of Technology was born out of the need to provide institutions of higher, learn, higher education for wards of Army personnel and was conceived in 1993 as a dream of the then chief, late General Bipin Joshi. Pune was chosen as a location, as you all know, it is called the Oxford of the East. Classes for the first batch of AIT started in August 1994. Initially, three programs were approved, computer, ENTC and mechanical, with 60 students at the undergraduate level each. Formal inauguration of AIT actually took place on 24th February 1993. Since then, this day is now being celebrated <coughs> as the AIT Foundation Day. Introduction of IT branch, the fourth branch of AIT took place in 2001. Thus, the intake increased to 240. AIT as an institute has alpha grade accreditation from NAAC and all its four UG programs are NBA approved. All these accreditations are being reviewed or coming up for review this year only. AIT intake at UG level has now increased to 360 with a new division of ENTC added. AIT initially had started a PG program that is in 2015 in ME in design engineering uh, for various reasons it had not become popular and we now uh, have decided to replace it with ME in data science which is the industry 4.0 technology and very very popular program from the academic year 22-23. The intake in each stream of AIT is as shown on the slide. AIT today has over 1360 students undergoing B in four streams. The new ME course which we are going to start is uh, is proposed to commence with an intake of 24. AIT has been striving hard to achieve very high standards of delivery of education and ensuring all-round growth of its students. I wish to narrate some of these achievements of the college in the previous year. AIT is at a very respectable 139 amongst all engineering colleges including IITs, NITs, triple ITs, BITs in the reputed uh, NRF rankings which is been sponsored by the Ministry of Education. In other rankings and surveys, national rankings is, is nearly uh, in top 20 in most of them. In Pune, in NRF, though it is fifth, but it is behind most of the college which has about PG and PhD and we could have been much higher in ranking only if we could have had a few PG programs and some PhD research students with us. Though this was not part of our original objective. Now we are very keen to address this aspect and such, start such programs in the future. Outstanding and ever improving placements of our student is our USP. As shown in the slide, the placements have seen a massive improvement over the last two years. More than 95% of the students of this batch, this is passing out in June, July 2022, have been placed already with an average salary of over 13.3 lakhs. 
the highest salary package of rupees 45 lakhs has been offered by Microsoft to no less than nine students. Even Amazon has picked up eight students at rupees 44 lakhs apiece. These figures are probably the best in the region. Some well chalked out strategies, initiatives, etc., are reason for this success. These include exposing maximum students, especially in the third year and beginning of the fourth year, to internships in various reputed companies, active involvement of successful alumni in mentoring these students, as also acting like magnets to absorb them in their own uh, companies, valued companies. Big role played by learning, peer learning through various club activities and extracurricular activities, systematic skill training organized by training and placement cell, various industry interactions, development of knowledge reservoirs and assistance portals by the ex-students and efforts taken by the department throughout there from first year right down to the final year to impart beyond curricular skills are some of the reasons for this tremendous success. The efforts to sustain such placement performance continues. A large number of students of the next batch are now undergoing internships in some very high value companies and organizations as shown on the slide. These internships provide multiple benefits to the students. The students get to apply their learnings, learning, uh, uh, learnings to the real life problems which is again enhances their learning. This also leads to excellent pre-placement offers from, offers from these companies as we have seen in the case of Microsoft and Amazon. And on top of it, many of these companies pay them handsomely for the duration of these internships. People of my generation have nothing but envy for these students. Mentioning about peer learning and the student clubs, AIT has over 17 clubs covering many curricular, extracurricular and outdoor activities. These provide excellent opportunities to students to develop a well-rounded personality apart from enhancing their life skills and leadership qualities. There is a well-established system of seniors, students, planning, organizing, conducting these activities and in the process mentoring the juniors who benefit immensely from these activities. Though many of these activities could not be conducted during the period of lockdown and the pandemic, the students through many innovative means and online methods kept uh, these club activities active. Uh, apart from placements in high value companies, many students are now opting for higher studies in India as well as abroad. So a list of some of these students who have been selected for these studies in reputed universities over the last few years is shown on the slide. AIT lays a great emphasis on experiential learning which includes learning through challenges, competitions, etc. In the words of the great Benjamin Franklin, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Forget, uh, involve me and I'll learn. AIT has already become a force to reckon with in many national technical competitions and hackathons. As shown on the slide, our students start participating in winning, winning right from the first year. Student groups have made us proud by winning the Smart India Hackathon conducted by Ministry of Education. What is shown on the slide is the hardware edition which the results have come in March last year. Earlier they had also won the software edition hackathons. AIT has two startups teams out of 45 selected nationally in the national innovation context held by Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell. Our students, some students have won individual prizes in coding contests, hackfest and also been selected for scholarships, uh, for example, by Google as shown on the slide. Our students are known to win many competitions in sports field. Sports activities have, of the university have recently started. Our squash team has already made impact, as you can see from the slide. Many of our alumni have been recognized in national and international levels. Aditya Malik has won the Indian Business Award 2021. Abhijit Devagirkar, an entrepreneur closely associated with AIC students, has been recognized by the AICT. Anamika of Com 2015 batch, she's passed the civil services exam of the UAPSC. Ravi Kumar of Upcurve Business Services, which has launched the famous Utshalo platform for the uh, defense fraternity, has won the National Startup Award in tourism sector. 
has also he has been felicitated recently by SPPU. Pawan Yadav, an author and IGN faculty and an entrepreneur, is teaching business processes. He has won the Shiksha Bharati Award recently. Deepa Javier of the very first batch of AIT which passed out in 1998 was felicitated recently by Tata Motors for being the first, one of the first female engineers on the shop floor. There are many more achievements of our alumni which motivate and inspire our young students. The development of our innovation and entrepreneurship cell and roles played by our alumni are well captured in the video which will be played after my report. During the absence of students in the campus, we try to develop habitat and infrastructure which can be utilized by our students. Some of these are shown on the slide. We have developed a small obstacle course for students who are keen to appear in SSB and join the armed forces post this degree. An electrical vehicle lab which has been developed uh, is also been assisted by a donation received from Mrs. Asha Gokte, the wife of the late Lieutenant Colonel Suhaj Gokte. This has come up recently and we, from the bottom of our heart, thank Mrs. Gokte for giving this donation to us. Our long-term vision of transforming AIT as a premium world-class technology training institution is based on roadmap of growth in horizontal, vertical and quality dimensions. We are already on the path of establishing centers of excellence in robotics and AI. In association with Robotics Club, we are trying to impart many schools to maximum number of students. You will see, see a glimpse of it today. Other planned centers of excellence include cyber security and electrical vehicles. As I already mentioned, there will be a video about the ecosystem of innovation and entrepreneurship and startups soon after my report. AIT is also proposing to start new programs in modern industry 4.0 technologies as also conduct some short term weekend courses to benefit a different class of students and contribute to Skill India and Make in India program. There are many medium term and long term proposals which are going to be synced with the new education policy of integrated and multidisciplinary programs. The future is exciting, challenging and it is full of promise. Our objective would be always to provide high quality education to wards of army personnel and provide total quality engineers, leaders and committed and dedicated members to the society. I would take this opportunity to congratulate award winners who have been felicitated today. Change. I take this opportunity to congratulate the award winners who will be felicitated today. And then on behalf of the entire AIT family, I would like to thank all of them all of those who have been part of this wonderful journey, which include our leadership, higher management at Headquarters Southern Command, AWS, our industry partners, the uh, various authorities at the university, as well as Technical Education Directorate of Maharashtra. Most importantly, our own amazing faculty and committed employees and our outstanding students. With their continued performance, support and guidance, we relentlessly pursue a wonderful journey onward to glory.
थैंक यू हेलो 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 ये बंद है ना ये बंद है ना हेलो 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 नहीं आला खर्र आवाज आया लगला हे बंद करा ना इकड़ हेलो 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 यो वाड़वा बारह नंबर वाड़वा बारह नंबर हेलो 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 हाँ ठीक है ये तो क्या क्लियर दिख रहा है आवाज क्या मैडम कोठा तिथु ना आमी सिग्नल दिन ना तो बाला इतु आसन मेरा शर्मा तू मेरा शर्मा तू तेरा सब कुछ मैं तेरा सब कुछ तू आवाज़ तो क्लियर हर कर्म अपना हर कर्म अपना हमी हमी दिल दिया है जादू बोले अवतन तेरे दिल दिया है जादू बोले अवतन तेरे हर कर्म अपना करेंगे अवतन तेरे
Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing. Next, we have the ZS Associate Scholarship being given by Mr. Rohit Bhagwat, Office Managing Principal, and Ms. Harsha Peter, HR Manager, ZS Associates, Pune. Due to obligatory engagements, dignitaries from ZS Associates couldn't join us for this prestigious occasion. On their behalf, I request a joint director, Colonel M.K. Prasad, to come up on the stage to applaud the extra... Oh, oh fuck. Peter, HR Manager, ZS Associates, Pune. Uh, uh, yes. We would now like to play a video shared with us by Mr. Rohit Bhagwat, Office Managing Principal, ZS Associates, Pune. Rohit is passionate about building capabilities and having an innovation mindset in all his endeavors, leading expertise centers, charting new frontiers, or delivering value at scale across analytics, operations, and technology. Mom, after this we have to video. Hi everybody. Happy AIT Day. I want to just say that it's a privilege for ZS to be associated with AIT since the last several years. Uh, and it is a source of great pride that we have been able to make the lives of some AIT students much better um, through our ZS scholarship. Congratulations to all those winners uh, for this year. And I'm really looking forward to continued success, not just for all of you, but also for the ZS AIT partnership. Thank you. student requires an all-round approach and such a holistic perspective has always been the essence here at the Army Institute of Technology. Hello, hello. Uh, the story starts with General Bipin Chandra Joshi becoming the Chief of Army Staff. He said that the... Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Mr. Pradeep Bhargav is the Chairman of Automotive System. A very good morning. A college graduate is not just a student. A college graduate is a person capable of making decisions, of handling people and situations, and a person who handles responsibilities gracefully. This transition from a student to a working professional and an active member of the society wouldn't be possible without the clubs and activities offered by AIT. 
We have about 18 clubs and three boards at AIT that work constantly to provide the entire campus with fun and engaging events. Whether technical or non-technical, that enable us to have a fulfilling social life and develop important soft skills like interpersonal relationships, teamwork, conflict resolution, communicative skills, etc. Our technical clubs also help us create an enjoyable environment around learning about domains beyond the syllabus, with a fun and competitive environment around coding, project development and... Now let's take a look at all the thrilling events conducted by the clubs at AIT in the last year. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side Girls with their nails done.